Chamber of Horrors in Fall River, and I'm here with Brian, who is the co-owner. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Chamber of Horrors, what goes on here. Well, this is our 10th year of being open and our 10 years of fear. Um, we have a haunted house that's uh, open right now, and we also have a zombie hunt paintball experience going on. Um, we are a charity haunted house, so we have approximately about 20 groups and about 200 volunteers that come out throughout the season to help building, um, help working in the haunt tonight. We've probably got about 75 to 80 people right now working tonight um, between the haunt and the zombie hunt and then the support staff. Um, we kind of start building this in, in April when it starts getting warm enough so that we don't have to wear gloves to operate and tools and, and hold screws and we'll probably finish up around uh, the first of December or so after we get all the electronics and animatronics and all the stuff taken away and put away in a warm you know area so it's a it's a long process and then during the winter we kind of uh, get at room ideas you know new props that we want to build uh, just things that we can do better for next year and how long have you been doing the uh, zombie hunt? Zombie hunt, I believe this is like our seventh year. Okay. So we've, we've kind of got it down other than the weather. <laughs> right, so right, a little rainy tonight, but we're still up and going. Okay, great. Yep. And how long does that usually take to kind of go through the fields? And um, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, great. Um, we have, it's a tractor and, and a wagon ride. There's 10 paintball guns mounted on each wagon and it goes through the field and we have buildings and live zombies come walking out and you, you shoot them with paintball guns. Nice. <laughs> How long does it usually take to go through the uh, house if you're not running through it? Um, a good 15 to 20 minutes. Um, if you don't have your head buried in your partner's back pushing through. Right, so, right. yeah. We actually went through and we noticed that there's a lot um, that has changed since the last time we were here and that was probably a couple of years ago. Yep. But if somebody came through last year, has anything changed? Since yeah. We, um, Probably two thirds of the haunt gets tore down every year and changed up. Um, there might be a couple rooms that are somewhat the same, but we, we've changed it up or added to it. But basically, two thirds of it will get taken down and, and changed over for next year. We want to change it up so everybody has keeps coming back every year after year. I mean, you don't want to see the same things every year, so let's change it up and make it better. We are here on Friday the 13th and we know that you had a little something special going on oh, before yeah. the haunt opened today. Yeah, um, we had a couple get married in our inside our haunt. <laughs> um, that was a first for us and uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, we have a little room set up for them right now where they're doing uh, having their own party and, uh, and their, their group is going through the haunt right now and doing the zombie hunt too. How fun. That's yeah. So do you guys have any special events coming up? Um, actually, yes, we do. Um, tomorrow night, um, October 14th, Saturday, we are having our Sci-Fi Star Wars night. So we've got a lot of members from the 501st Garrison uh, coming out in costume. We have Stormtroopers, Darth Vader, Jawas, and R2-D2. And then we do have one more next Saturday, uh, October 21st. It's uh, Columbia County Humane Society night. We have members from their group coming out and working in the haunt, and then uh, um, so we can make a great donation to the Humane Society at the end of the season. Okay. What uh, dates and times are you going to be open for the rest We're of the open time? every Friday and Saturday in October. We sell tickets from 7 until 10 o'clock and then we'll close after the last customers made it through. So yeah, it'll run a little later than 10 o'clock. Okay, and um, how about admission? Um, right now the, the, the haunted house is $14. The zombie hunt is $14 and that'll include 100 paintballs. You can buy extra another 100 paintballs for another $8. And we do have a combo ticket of the Haunted House and the Zombie Hunt, which is $22. That's so it's deal. $6 off. If you guys want to come on out, make sure you do because it is a lot of fun and there's unique things you won't see anywhere else. So stop on out to the Chamber of Horrors in Fall River. You can find more information on our website, hauntedwisconsin.com, and hope to see you guys soon. That was good. Now, you were recording. Yeah. <laughs> right. Do it all over again. No. <laughs>